everyone. So today I'm going to be doing a Lush haul. Ooh, okay, I know, they gave me an upside down Lush box. Don't know why, they taped it on the wrong side, but okay. Or maybe I just opened it on the wrong side. Okay. <laughs> But um, basically today is pretty much just the Christmas collection. Um, the day I noticed it was out, I was like, okay, to my house now, please. Um, so I got a lot of Christmas stuff. I think I only got one item that wasn't Christmas um, and that was Halloween. So I pretty much just got all holiday related treats. I know the scarf is massive. I don't know how I feel about it. It's like a huge blanket scarf. I don't know, let's let's take that off. I think that's too much. There we go. If you guys see me looking to the left, um, I just have the Lush website pulled up because a lot of these, they don't come with descriptions. They just come with like, oh, this is what's inside of it. So it doesn't really help out a lot when you're trying to explain what it is. The first thing I got, I'll show you guys the Halloween thing first, which was a sparkly pumpkin. And this is a bubble bar and it says, um, at the end of the day, pop this sparkly pumpkin into the bath. As you crumble its golden shimmeriness under the running water, you'll feel instantly regenerized. <laughs> An uplifting blend of juniper berry, grapefruit, and lime oils will fill in the room. Uh, fill the room. As you sink into the glittering gold water, you won't be able to keep from smiling. So, this is supposed to be like more of a citrusy one, even though it's like a fall scent. Was anyone else really disappointed with the Halloween collection this year? I feel like every year there's like a huge Halloween collection and this year it was like six things and two of them were repeats. Like not repeats, but like two of them had the same scent. So I was like, why the hell? Like there's only one thing in the whole collection that I actually felt like buying. So yeah, this is very, very citrusy. You can definitely smell the lime there. And this is a bubble bar. If you guys don't know, um, Lush. Lush has three types of primary um, bath products. They have bubble bars, which you crumble underneath the water as it's running. Like as the bath is filling up, you crumble this under the water and it creates huge bubbles. They have bath bombs, which you throw into the water after the tub's already filled. And those usually don't create as much many bubbles, but just different effects. And then bath melts, which are the same as bath bombs. You throw them in after the water's already been uh, drawn. But instead of giving a cool effect to the bath, a lot of times it'll be more moisturizing or more silky. So that's just the difference between the three types of bath products. So the rest that I got here was Christmas. Sorry if some of the wrappers are already opened. Um, I did have to go through this with my sister upstairs because she's the one who answered the door and saw this. She's like, oh my God, Lush! So uh, I had to show her everything and she wanted to smell a few things. So some of the wrappers are already open, sorry. Um, so the first thing I got, let's just jump right in here, is I wanna show you guys this because this was probably my least my most disappointing, I guess, because it came like completely cracked. If you guys can see that, like it's, like it's literally cracked in half. I, I will still use it, but it's just very crumbly. I don't know if I'll even open it to smell it, but this is Golden Wonder and it is a bath bomb. And this one was one that I was recommended so, so much last year and I didn't end up getting and I regretted it so much. So I got it this year. Let's see. Let's see if I can open this and not get a bunch of crumbles all over myself. This has, I don't know, a very citrusy scent, but also just like a classic soap undertone. Um, like, you know what I mean? Like when I say classic soap, I mean like Dove soap undertone. Um, what does it say? Fancy and uplifting cocktail cognac and zesty lime. I wouldn't say that would be cognac. All I smelled was the lime. Um, get this bath party started with mood brightening scents and sweet orange oil. Didn't smell the orange either. Um, in the water, this present shaped fizzer unwraps itself to reveal a gl glistening golden luster and sparkling turquoise explosion. So that one should be fun. Next one I have here is Dashing Santa. And this is what this one looks like. The one's so cute. It's like he's running and he has a little present on his back. This one's also a little crumbly. I hate getting stuff shipped. I hate the fact that I don't have a Lush here because I have to get everything shipped and then a lot of times it will crumble in the mail. Um, so this is Dashing Santa, like I said, and it is a bath bomb. This one smells a little sweeter, still with that um, citrusy undertone, but a little sweeter. Let's see what it says. Uh, make a dash for the moving bath bomb um, 
make a dash for this moving bath bomb, yeah, uh, with cheerful and uplifting scent of Satsuma. So um, if you guys don't know, Satsuma is like, a, it smells very similar to like mandarin or tangerine. Um, at Christmas, watch Santa fly around about your bath as his golden boots fizz away. So that's why I got this one, because this one's supposed to be very like fizzy. Okay, so the next thing I got here is called Butter Bear. And this is what he looks like. This one's so cute. So this one is exactly the same as the Butterball bath bomb, which is year round. You can purchase it any time of year. Um, so it's just super cute like that. And this one here is just a soft vanilla scent. You can smell it right through the wrapper. It's just a soft vanilla baby powder scent and it makes your water so moisturizing. Um, I have tried Butterball before many times, so that's how I know that. Um, and it says, molded into a friendly bear, this bath bomb has a generous helping of cocoa butter that gives you a softest bear hug imaginable. So yeah, it's just very moisturizing, um, great for nourishing and protecting the skin. Uh, same vanilla fragrance as the regular Butterball. I had to get that. Um, and then I got So White, which was a big recommendation last year as well. And let's just smell. To me, this smells like lightly of apple. And just, I don't know. It has a, it has an undertone of like an essential oil, but I can't pick it out. Like it, I can just smell the faint apple to it. Um, let's see what it says. A lush Christmas favorite, So White is back again this year to bring the crisp, fresh aroma of juicy apple to your tub. Pop it in the bath and watch it fizz, releasing softening baking soda? That's weird. <laughs> and the uploading, uplifting oils of bergamot and neroli. Neroli. Sorry, I can never pronounce that. So those are the essential oils I was smelling. The white exterior slowly gives away to a secret pink center that fizzes and foams, all creating snow-like froth. That's cute. Okay. I feel like this one's going to be fun. The next one I have here is Father Christmas. And, like, literally the sticker covers up exactly the face face here but it's literally just a red bath bomb with a Santa face on it which is so cute to me this smells very similar to like the creamy candy uh bubble bar like it has a very very strong scent or like um the godmother soap it smells very 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 sweet um like it says, Fasta Bomb brings Santa's presence to the bath. Once you pop this jelly bomb in your bath, you'll be able to soak away the hours in sweet mouth-watering waters as the blushing red of Santa's cheeks fizz to reveal a holly green center. So it's white, red, and green, very festive, and the scent smells like candy. So it's just, it's a very festive bath bomb. Um, I, I think I'll really like this one because I do like really sweet scents. It is just really sweet. So if you're someone who can't stand um, sweet scents sometimes, you might want to give this one a try. That's just my recommendation. Okay, so next I have the Luxury Lush Pud. Another big recommendation. Um, this one also got kind of crumbled, which was disappointing. Um, but regardless, I'll still enjoy it. Let's see if I can get this out of the wrapping pleasantly. So this is the Luxury Lush Pud, if I didn't say that already. Okay, let's see what this one smells like. Okay. So this one smells a little spicy. Like it smells a little spicy, like it has a spicy sweet scent. Um, let's see what it says. Catch 40 winks on Christmas Eve with islands of sleepy foam and comforting lavender. Yeah, I can smell the lavender. Um, Tonka Absolute, Tonka, like Tonka trucks, uh, provides the perfect Christmas desert for dessert for your skin. Well, the reassuring scent of lavender oil and creamy bazen, benzoin, resolved. I'll just put it somewhere here on the screen because I cannot say that. Um, banishes tension and aids relaxation. Setting for, soothing for excited children and grown-ups alike. Yeah, I would, I think this one's, it's not the best set in the world, but it's cute. And it's Christmassy. It has mistletoe on it. 
Next thing I got was a little bottle of Snow Fairy soap, which was one of the, not soap, sorry, um, shower gel, which is one of Lush's most famous Christmas scents. I remember back when I started watching YouTube videos, like Elle Fowler was talking about this back in like 2010. So like it's been around for quite some time. Um, it is just, it's just a Christmas classic, really. I got the smallest bottle, which was still $10, so it is quite an expensive shower gel. Um, this is 100 milliliters or 3.3 fluid ounces. Um, and this smells very, very sweet. It smells like, to me it smells like cotton candy, just straight up. Just smells like cotton candy. Uh, which, I don't know. It, it's it's a great thing to have. I don't think I'll be buying a bigger size of it because that was the idea is that I'd buy the smallest size. If I liked it, I'd get the bigger size. And I like it, but not to the point where I'd go and pay $30 for the full size bottle. Like it, it is super, super sweet. Like you, you're you smelling like pink sugar, Aqualina pink sugar with this on. Um, let's see what it says. Um, oh, how we've missed the lathering up of the fluffy pink bubbles. We crave Snow Fairy's bubblegum and sweet vanilla. So bubblegum and vanilla, like you can't get much more sweet than this. Um, fragrance all year and just can't imagine the holidays without her. Our famous fairy contains um, smattering uh, a smattering of biodegradable shimmering luster so it does have sparkles in it which I can see here I don't know if you guys can see that it does have some sparkles in my opinion I wouldn't recommend this for someone who's older even my age um, I find that this would be like this is really 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 sweet like it is overpoweringly sweet um, if you have a young girl in your life maybe like in her early teens or in her preteens I think she would absolutely love this I'm actually thinking about getting a bottle of this and throwing it in with um, Lane's little sister's present for Christmas and she's eight so I say like in the preteen to early teen range would absolutely love this any older I think would I don't know any older to me would smell this and be like eh, I, it smell like a candy factory that's great so it's it's up to you really everyone has a personal scent preference but that's just my opinion if you're thinking about gifting this to somebody so the next thing I have here is another Christmas favorite and this is cinders and that's just what cinders looks like it has it's just a yellow bath bomb with um, crackle like um, what are those called pop rocks in the center as you might be able to tell I did get a lot of bath bombs bath bombs are my favorite just because I don't have to go fooling around with like crumbling them under the tub and making sure they're finely crumbled enough otherwise you have like little pieces floating around at the bottom of your tub like I just find them easy so that's why I did get a lot of bath bombs that and there was a lot of bath bombs in the collection um, so anyway cinders it's, to me it smells like cinnamon and like some other type of sweet scent. I know, that sounds weird. Um, let's just see what they say. Uh, heat up your holidays with this sweet and spicy inspired fire, in, uh, sweet and spicy bomb inspired by fireside gatherings with family and friends. We combined crackling vegan popping candy with stimulating cinnamon leaf oil to recreate the warmth of the hearth. Uh, with a bath so inviting, you'll skip the open fire and curl it with this fizzler instead. So this one's supposed to be very exciting to watch when you first put it in the bath, and then it's also supposed to smell like cinnamon. So reminds me a lot of Christmas. So the next one I have here is called Yognog, which is just so cute. I know this is a soap that they come out with every year, but I didn't think this was a bath bomb that they came out with every year. I'm not sure. Someone tell me. Is this something that they bring out every year? I thought it was just the soap. Nevertheless, it does have a cute print on it. But mine's kind of crumbled a little bit, so I can't really pick out what the print's supposed to be. I think it's just supposed to be like little stars. Sorry, I can't really pick it out because mine's crumbled too much. Um, but anyway, let's try opening it. Just try opening it up without destroying it. Oh wow, this is like in your face, toffee. This one I can definitely smell like a cognac -y, like strong musky alcohol scent combined with like a toffee. That's my guess. <laughs> and this is also a bath bomb. Uh, cozy up in the tub, sweeter than dipping into the cookie jar. <laughs> the luxurious bomb is sure to warm you up on cold frosty evenings, I would say so. Spicy clove bud oil. So it wasn't an alcohol, it was clove bud, but to me that smells, it smells like alcohol. Like a, like a 
fancy alcohol, something that my man would drink, you know, like a scotch or a whiskey or like cognac. Spicy uh, clove bud stimulates the senses while soy, soy milk powder and organic shea butter create a creamy, comforting water. Ooh, I say this one's gonna be really nice. And once again, bonus, because it actually smells holiday themed. Next thing I have here, I told you guys I got a lot of stuff from the holiday collection. I got practically, except for the fun, which is uh, like Lush's version of like bath Play-Doh, um, except for the fun and like the Christmas gift sets, I got most of the collection, other than a few things that I just thought smelled didn't like just sounded like they would not smell good I did not get those but um I did get anything that I thought smelled good or anything that I just hadn't tried before that wasn't in the regular collection so anyway this is snow angel and this is what it looks like it has a little angel on this side like a classic like angel look and then on the back side it's obviously the same shape but it's all glitter um and this is a bath melt um let's see what it smells like to me, this is not my favorite smell. It is, ugh, like this one, and I, I opened this one so my sister could smell it, and she doesn't like it either, so I don't know what's gonna happen to it. It just smells like Play-Doh. Like, it smells like a combination of essential oils and spices that I just don't personally like. Um, so this one, what does it say? Uh, it's supposed to be really moisturizing, so that kind of sucks because I am very dry skinned, so this would have been nice if I actually liked the scent. Um, dissolving into a flurry of snow, Snow Angel will blanket your bath in white foam before revealing a shimmering golden glow. Oh, it smells like mirazepam. That's what it's supposed to smell like. So if you don't like the scent of mirazepam, don't, don't do this because I don't like it. I, I personally do not like the scent at all to the point where even though this sounds amazing and so luxurious for the skin I'm not gonna be able to use it because it smells that awful to me sadly um so the that's kind of one of the disadvantages of not living near Lush is that you can't go in and be like oh this smells great I'll take it um you kind of have to like do luck of the draw kind of thing um, so the next thing I got, which I believe is now sold out, actually I can see it right here on the website, and it is currently sold out, so I'm hoping they bring it back, but this one is called The Magic of Christmas, and this is what it looks like. It is a bubble bar, and it is just so cute. Mine also crumbled a little bit in the mail. Um, but it has a little bubble, it has a little bell on it, sorry, like when I first took it out my cat went crazy for it. It's a bubble bar wand. Now let's see what this smells like. It smells, to me this smells like... classic Christmas cookies like it smells like a gingerbread and cinnamon like it smells like gingerbread and cinnamon like that kind of molassesy smell I really like it so uh if it's like a spicy scent that I could actually deal with um this one says foam alone stir up a whole lot of Christmas magic with this warming cinnamon stick it's packed uh with punchy cinnamon leaf and fair trade organic clove um, to warm up the skin while fast forwarding you straight to the festive season. I would believe that. Treat Grinch-like moments by holding the spicy bubble wand under the running water and slipping into a blanket of hot almond bubbles. Um, so it's supposed to smell like almond, clove oil, and well not clove oil, clove, and cinnamon leaf. So uh, I think this one's just adorable and it's one of those ones that you don't have to actually crumble under the water, you just hold it under the water, so I really like that. Um, it's just, it's adorable. If it comes back in stock, I'll probably tweet you guys when it comes back in stock. Um, so make sure you follow me on Twitter. The link will be down below. This one's just so adorable. I would, I think I would recommend this even without trying it. So I have, I have one more thing, guys. One more thing. I promise. Um, so this last thing that I have here is called Holly Go Lightly, which you guys know I could not resist getting something named after Audrey Hepburn. You know, I named my daughter after Audrey Hepburn, for God's sakes. You knew I wasn't going to skip out on something like this. So this is a bubble bar, which is one that you crumble under the tub, like I said. And this is what it looks like. It's a fully silver uh, bubble bar with a little mistletoe on top, which is adorable. And to me, this smells... It doesn't smell the best. It smells like cinnamon, clove... Yeah, it just smells like really spicy. 
Um, so for that reason, it's not my favorite, but I say that there are a lot of people who would really love it. And this would last a couple of baths as well. Um, this one says, baby, it's cold outside, but we've got the cure for what, well, makes what makes you cold. Crumble holly go likely under warm running water and you'll start to warm up the minute you smell the spicy clove, cinnamon, and patchouli. That one, not my favorite, but I will still use it. I think it's cute. So all that I have left is my one little sample, which they gave out. Um, if you do order from Lush online, they do give you little samples. Um, and this is for the Karma Soap. I don't really like Lush soaps just because I find that they leave my skin sticky. Oh, and that one that I don't really like. It's very, I don't know. It smells, oh, it smells like oranges, but with a lot of spice. I don't know. I, I don't really like it. So I probably won't be repurchasing this. Probably won't even use the sample, honestly. Um, but, you know, that's why they throw in samples to see if you like it. So that is everything I got from Lush, guys. Finally. I know. Um, so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I know I did. Um, you guys know how much I love Christmas. So this was kind of like the breakthrough of the Christmas season. I know I ordered most of the Christmas collection, but I did not order absolutely everything. So if you guys have bought anything from the Christmas collection and you're like, girl, how are you living without this? You know, just comment down below, tell me about it. And I will, of course, have to go buy it, you know me. Um, so uh, make sure to leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Um, tell, me, tell me what you guys would um, like from the Christmas collection if you guys um, haven't tried it yet, because there might be a giveaway, hint, hint. I'm um, not on this video, obviously, but there might be a giveaway coming up with some Christmas Lush stuff. So if you guys want to comment down below and tell me what kind of stuff from the Christmas collection you're really liking, uh, I'd really appreciate that. Uh, or if you'd like to try or anything like that. And make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!